ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆತೇನ ಕಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆತೇನ ಹಿ ತುಮ್ಮೀರಾಖೆ ಜೈಸಿ ಬುಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆತೆ ನಿ ತುಮ್ಮೀರಾಖೆ ಜೈಸಿ ಬುಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಖಾತೆ ನಿ ಬೀರ ಶಬರಿ ಕೆ ಜೈಸೆ ಖಿಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಖಾತೆ ನಿ ಬೀರ ಶಬರಿ ಕೆ ಜೈಸೆ ಖಿಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೋತೆ ನೈ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೋತೆ ನೈ ಮಾಯಶೋದ ಕಿ ಜೈಸೆ ಸುಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೋತೆ ನಿ ಮಾಯಶೋದ ಕಿ ಜೈಸೆ ಸುಲಾತೆ ನಿ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನಾಚತೆ ನಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನಾಚತೆ ನಿ ಗೋಪಿಯೋ ಕಿ ತರ ತುಮ್ ನಚಾತಿ ನಿ ಕೌನ ಕಹತಾ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನಾಚತೆ ನಿ ಗೋಪಿಯೋ ಕಿ ತರ ತುಮ್ ನಚಾತಿ ನಿ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ ನಾಮ ಜಪತೆ ಚಲೋ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ತೆ ಚಲೋ ಹರ್ ಸಮಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕರ್ತೆ ಚಲೋ ನಾಮ ಜಪತೆ ಚಲೋ ಕಾಮ ಕರ್ತೆ ಚಲೋ ಹರ್ ಸಮಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕರ್ತೆ ಚಲೋ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಾನಕೀವಲ್ಲಭ 
याद आएगी उनको कभी ना कभी कृष्ण दर्शन तो देंगे कभी ना कभी अच्युतम केशवम कृष्ण दामोदरम राम नारायणम जानकी वल्लभम राम नारायणम जानकी वल्लभम हरिओम वसुदेव समस्त जन कल्याण we learn mostly through examples today i am going to tell a bit of my autobiography so that you learn till 17th year i was lordly of everybody up to my eighth year where we studied in two three villages those village teachers will have a stick to beat everybody but me alone they take in the hands and give me jangri that much pet up to 17th year after 17th year with compound interest with compound interest there is never a moment where i am free from big challenges till today till today but it is guru's grace they are there mind will be working on them worrying about them but my focus even for a split second even on my come out from the day i saw gurudev never shifted from him not for a split second and that is enough to go through all the challenges because that is real total bliss this pales into insignificance before that so this is what we have to do that is we are all sincere all people who ever have come in contact with a sadhu directly or indirectly are all blessed people undoubtedly otherwise they can't come in contact with a sadhu especially chimyamshi some people call me fanatic that's the greatest tribute they can give me right so once you have come to mission directly or indirectly have a guru a mitti thing after that there is nothing to gain but what do we do for us the problems personal problems family problems all become so important we say what am i to do i want to come to class but the situation is like that situation will never be different will never 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 be different 
And why do you give so much of weight to the problems? Problems are there. They are meant to be there. They are given to you by our loving Lord for your own good. They are given to you by our loving Lord for your own good. So, what are the mistakes that we are doing? To expect a problem-free life. To expect a problem-free life. To think problems are a curse. To think I have done some papa, therefore I am suffering. All these are confusions. Right? And let them settle, then I will think of God. After they settle, why do you need God? After your problems settle, why do you need God? So to give God a second place is the worst mistake that you can do, having come in contact with such an opportunity. An ignorant man is okay. Poor man doesn't know. Having come to this, having got a guru, having exposed to satsang, having exposed to teaching, right? To put other things before this, you are hurting yourself very bad. You are not hurting anybody else. You are hurting yourself very bad. The decision to be God or to be a miserable man is with you. The moment you decide, I am going to be this, you are that. The moment you are carried away by the outside happenings, the world, you become a victim. You become a victim. So, just do not worry about the text I take, what I do. These are the important proofs that you have to imbibe in our life. Why is this teaching so important? Why is this teaching so important? Because all of us, you twist a row, leave it, what happens to them? It will unwind. Till it unwinds, it will not rest. We are all twisted ropes away from our fulcrum, the Godhood. Till we reach there, we cannot rest. That is where we are doing everything for that state of total bliss and security. But we are searching for that outside. God is very intelligent. He has kept it in you. And you are searching outside. So you are all, all the time missing. You all the time missing. Right? And what material things you need? Rajas, billionaires, used to go, the extreme example, to meet Anchi Mahapariva, who sleeps on a plank in a veranda. People, will, they come and go. In that passage, on a plank he sleeps. Uh, kings come and bow down. Why? What he has, they don't have. What they have, he doesn't want. What he has, they don't have. What they have, he doesn't want. Why? Because you are already God. You are peace. You are bliss. You have covered it by your unwanted, extrovert, desire-filled thoughts. So, to experience your Godhood, bliss, all that you have to do is turn this mind from the objective desire-ridden world to your own being. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. 
So do I leave everything from tomorrow? Why you leave everything? Everything is God when you are saying what to leave. When we are saying everything is God, what to leave? Family is God. Office is God. Your drishti has to change. Srishti need not change. Your drishti has to change. Srishti has not to change. Because everything in this world is a combination of name and form and God. Your attention is on name and form. You experience insecurity and sorrow. Your attention is on God. You enjoy bliss. Whose choice is this? It's your choice. When will I get it? The very question, when will I get it? You have decided to miss it now. The very question. Is it so easy? 100% easy. Why didn't I get for 30 years? You were not interested. Oh, not interested. I, I don't miss your study class. I, do, I don't miss listening to this Mahatma, that Mahatma. I don't miss anything. Right? Why do you say I'm not interested? You were interested in all that, but you were not interested in the real thing. No, Bahuna Srutena, not your studies. No, Bahuna Srutena, no Karmana, no Prajaya, no Danena, Kyagena, Yekena, leave all these things. And you find the Lord there, yourself. You find the Lord there, yourself. And when you get him, all the joys that you are seeking outside are in him. I am running, running, running. For what? For a few lakhs. Somebody is waiting for me to see him, to give me his estate worth a billion. I say I have no time. I, I have to make this money, I have to make that money. Help him, help him, help him. Okay. So, I have been running after, give me a full wax this way, that way and all that to everybody. Somebody said, somebody is waiting to see you. That man is waiting to give his estate to me. What a billion. I say, I have no time. Once you get a billion, you get all the lakhs in that. Billion includes lakhs. Once you get God, all these joys that you are hunting are in Him. This is what this Supanishad itself later will come, the same topic. But in Taitriya, it, it's put in a simpler way. In Taitriya. Yuvatsat Sadhu Adhyaya Kaha Asisto Drudisto Balistaha Tasya Ayam Prithvi Vittasya Purnasya Tasya Ayam Prithvi Vittasya Purnasya Sa Yeko Manushanandaha There was a youth Sadhu Highly character. Adhyayakaha. Erudite. Asisto, Drudisto, Balistaha. Firm results. Strong man. Has everything that he desires. Tasya of that man. Iyam Prithvi Vittasya Purnasya. This year. This year is completely filled with wealth, and that is his. Firstly, it is impossible to meet all these conditions. Impossible. And then what it says? 
This is one unit of human happiness. Teshat Anusha Anandaha Sayeko Manusha Gandharvana Anandaha. Hundred times happiness of this is one human artist. Gandharva means artist, musicians, and all that. Teshatam Manusha Gandharvana Anandaha Sayeko Devana Anandaha. Each one of this happiness, it starts here and lands up with Prajapati, Brahmaji, step by step. And then it says, all these happiness are there for asking for a man who has no desires and learn it. No desires can be a lazy man also, inert man also. No, enlightened man. He is enlightened. He is enjoying the bliss in himself so much. He doesn't need anything from the outside world. One of the Western authors says, who wants to import one who lacks something? The country that doesn't import is the richest. You don't want anything from the outside world. You are the richest. You are the richest. That doesn't happen by killing up. That happens by knowing you don't need many of these things. You are full and complete. Socrates used to go every day via Pandi Bazaars, see every shop window, every day. Somebody asked, every day you are coming, every day you are seeing these things and you don't buy anything. Why are you doing it? I am just checking up how many things I don't want. I am just checking up how many things I don't want. So this infinite happiness is yourself. I won't even call your birthright. It is yourself. You are missing by your choice. Covering them with all unwanted, finite pursuits. It's your choice. Missing is your choice. That is what Brother Neka tactfully puts it. The Brother Neka says, you need everything. It's true. Can a man who has not eaten for three days listen to Brother Neka? He needs his food. Can a man who is very agitated listen to Brother Nika? No. Can a man who is confused listen to Brother Nika? No. So you have to take care of the body, you have to take care of the mind, you have to take care of the intellect, but no, all of them are ancillaries and support system for the main thing to know myself. That Brother Nika doesn't miss to one at every stage. When he took Ashwamedha Yaga, there also he says, the, the foot are rooted in Brahma, Samudra. When he does Agni, he says the same thing. Prana, later it will come today. Prana, he says, that is Satyam. Prana is Satyam. But Brahman is Satyasya Satyam. Satyasya Satyam. So, my classes, my YouTubes, don't listen everything. But first to 10 minutes, you listen every day. Because that is what applies to your life. Right? So up to now, we all saw that Rudharanaka has three khandhas. First is called Madhukanda. Next is called Rishikanda or Yagnavalke Kanda or Munikanda. The last is called Upasana Kanda. Kila Kanda. Kila. You are asserting. Kila means assertion of your experience. Kilakan. So we have been doing 
we have almost completed the first chapter of the first kanda he comes to the conclusion there at the end of the first chapter of the first kanda he says we have established to you all this is finite all that you get through effort through karma through upasana to through karma and upasana through karma through upasana through karma and upasana maximum you can get including brahma loka is finite that's got through effort if it is infinite it's not got through effort aparam chet praptavyam param chet nato aparam if it is secondary it has to be obtained param chet if it is infinite it has to be known so the author says now i will move into the nana that is the beginning of the second chapter nana of what of your own self of the consciousness of the brahman right and in the first chapter before he closes in the fourth he says what is the importance of this atma eva iti upasita you have been doing upasana to various gods they are all fine do upasana to atma do upasana to brahma right atma eva upasita do that upasana why all this is brahman all this is brahman why you are that aham brahma asmi it comes in the fourth right and therefore since brahman is all since brahman is bliss since you are brahman priority is to know that and therefore he says for this nana we go to the second chapter right now let us see the text why should you know this because up to this knowing brahman the non dual truth you cannot escape insecurity even if you are brahma ji indra ji you cannot escape insecurity fear sorrow dwaya bhayati bhayam ekaki naramatai and alone nobody enjoys you want company both are problems ekaki naramate because he sees duality doyat bhayati bhayam out of the second you get fear so what is it to see both to be me both to be me the subject and the object become me that is the secret of upasana when you do upasana you become the upasya you become the subject and the object yourself the object merges in you right etadva idam sarvam all other things annam cha eva annadascha everything else in the world including brahma is food and the eater of the food is food the eater of the food he gives the example of devatas you go to temple why they give you boon so you eat their prasada and why do they give you the boon because they need your naivedya says in the upanishad do you think i am trying to take to the path of atheist upanishad says you can't blame me right so they give you prasada annam so you go and why do they give because they want annam from you naivedya because once you come down from that brahmanhood even to godhood you need annam 
So everything falls into Annam and Atti. Annam and Atti. How long are you going to be this Annam and Atti? How long? Get out of that. That is the cry of the Upanishad. Get out of that. And then there is one humorous statement here, which I used to say 20 years back, but I didn't know that this is in the Upanishad. This is a very humorous one. God created me. I am imperfect. I created God. He is perfect. It says here, Matya san amritan asurjitam. Matya, Virat is Matya. But he created the Devatas. Right? So my creation is superior to God's creation. That comes in a modern humorous way here. And then uh, worshipping the various deities and various things, he says, Aham Brahmasmi, yo Anyan Devan Upaste, Anyaha Asavu, Anyaha Aham Asmiti, Iti Nasa Veda. One who says, He is different, I am different, he says he doesn't know. And this is very strangely, not strange, strange because we don't expect. We, do, we have not heard, when you listen to Bhagavatam, we only listen to stories. But Bhagavatam very clearly defines the devotees four types. First type, Himsatmakam, giving Bali and all that. Second time, Dambhatmakam, show off. Third time, sincere man per karma, this thing. Bhagavan says, even that sincere man is not the best. Because he still feels, I am different, he, he is different. The best is one who says, Vasudeva Sarvamiti, Samahatma Sudurrava. Right? You have to come to that state. When will you come to that state? When you have impurities in your mind, you cannot. When you have impurities in your mind, you cannot. When the impurities have gone, you will, you will say, Boldly, I am Brahman. So you have to wait for all the impurities to go. No. Let them be there. You detach. And what are the impurities? Not mainly desires. Your impurities are seeing duality, hatred, jealousy, anger, bitterness. As long as they are there, you cannot experience God. When the jealousy, bitterness, anger, hatred dropped, you cannot miss God. <sighs> and it, it says, Pashureva Deva Nam. Why gods give you boons? You are like a Pashu for the people who cattle, uh, you know, breeders, they count every day. One missing, they get agitated. The gods also there, they count, this devotee has come today, has he brought me an him? If he has not come, they also get agitated. Therefore, they bless you. Pashu Reva, you are there, Pashu. You are there, Pashu. Should I leave all that? I cannot tell you because I am doing all the pujas. How can I tell you to leave? I do all the pujas. I go to all the temples. How can I ask you to leave? But you have to know all these are means. There is something where they have to need me. That you have to be conscious. That you have to own. And then do all the normal things also. Your duty to the family, your duty to the society, your duty to nation, your duty to God, everything you do. But let your primary understanding be firm. So now the second chapter starts with the story. 
I told you, you know, we learn through examples and stories. There was one Rishi called Gargya. Maybe Gargya is his daughter, we don't know. But he is a man, Gargya. And there was a king, Ajata Shatru. This Gargya wanted money and therefore goes to the king. He says, I, I will teach you Brahma Vidya. I will teach you Brahma Vidya. Because in those days, Brahma Vidya, Guru Dakshina, is not what you give, thinking that this man needs this much. You should be prepared to give all your possessions. That is the value of Brahma Vidya. Janaka says that here in the later chapter, I am giving my kingdom everything to, to Yagnavalkya. Janaka says that everything I am giving to you because you have given me God and all this is in God. Why do I need anything else? You take. So here Gargya goes to Ajayasa Shetru and says, I will teach you Brahman. First to rule, you should never tell anybody, I will teach you Brahman, I will teach you Gita. Never, never, never. Only when asked you have to say. Because it's like talking about medicine to a man who has no disease or giving food to somebody who has no hunger. You should not talk. Only when asked you have to answer. Right? So, that is the first mistake. Then he goes to Ajat Shatru. Ajat Shatru says, Oh, what, how lucky I am. Everybody says, Janaka, Janaka, Iti. You know, everybody says, Janaka, 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 Janaka gives plenty to people who give knowledge. I didn't have an opportunity. Now you come, come, come. I will also be praised like Janaka. Janaka, Janaka, Iti. Everybody is staying. So come, thank you, he says. And then he asks him to start. What is your Brahman? Please teach me. Saho vacha gadyaha sa eva aso aditya purusha eta mevaham brahmo vasa iti. I worship as Brahman the purusha in aditya. The purusha in aditya is the Brahman whom I worship. Saho vacha ajata shatruhu. Ma, my tasmin, my yetasmin, somebody stuff. I you a Brahman. I know much more than that what you are telling. This is a conditioned Brahman. The Purusha in Aditya is a conditioned Brahman. That is not Brahman. I know much more about that. I will tell you what all I know about that. And he says, Ma, Atistaha Sarvesham Bhutana Murda Rajati. He is the Head of all beings, the sun. Sarvesham Bhutanam Murdha. Raja Iti, he is the king. Aham Yetam Upasa Iti, I worship him. So this is not the Brahman, this is conditioned Brahman because you are talking about the deity in Brahman. That is only condition. Then Ajat Shetru says, okay. I will tell you another thing. Yevaso Chandre Purusha Yemaham. The one in the Chandra. The one in the Chandra. Ajata Shuhayu. This is also conditioned. This is also conditioned. Maya. Ma Yeta Asmin Sambadista. Burhan Pandara Vasaha. He is the white robed one. Somaha. He is the nectar. 
Raja iti aham etam upas. I know much more than you on this. You said I will teach you Brahman. What all you are saying is conditioned Brahman. I know much more. So he goes on exhausting one by one. Finally, because I will skip. Everything is the same. Finally, uh, Ajata Shetru asks Gargya, is that all you know? Yes, I, I want to be your student. I want to be your student. Gargya, who came to teach, now says, I want to be your student. This is all I knew. Ajata Shetru says, this is uh, con uh, contra uh, tradition. Right? This is against tradition. This is against tradition. A king, a, a Brahmana coming to a king to be taught. A, a Brahmana coming to a king to be taught. Anyway, you come, you are asked. Nobody has a right to deny anybody who comes for knowledge. You cannot deny. I told you in the beginning, one statement, never talk to somebody who has not asked you. Second statement, if somebody has asked you, you have no right to deny. You, if somebody has asked you, you have no right to deny. Right? So, he, then Gargya says, uh, then Aja says, come, let's go. He takes him by hand and goes. And goes to a man sleeping under a cart. Some Yetahi, Nama Bihi, Amantaryante Kray. He started calling him with these names because these are the names Gargya has told his Brahman to Ajata Shetri. So he goes to a sleeping man because he said he's Brahman. Brahman means he should know that we are come. Brahman means. When I call, he should know. Because Brahman knows everything. That way come itself, he should know. And when I call with the name, he said, he should know much more. So, and he calls with the names. Uh, Gargya said, Pantara Vasaha, the white robe one, Soma, Raja, all these names he called. That man doesn't respond. He's sleeping. He says, if this is your Brahman, Brahman is not supposed to sleep even when everything is sleeping. Your senses sleep, your mind sleeps. Brahman doesn't sleep. And Brahman is omniscient. You stand there, you call him, he should know. He doesn't. So with these names I called, he didn't respond. So he is not that. He is not that. He says, And then what he does is, he shakes him with the hand. He shakes him. Please listen to this very carefully. Because this particular thing, what I am doing today, is itself a meditation. You can gain the experience of the self, even as I am talking. Very important. Right? He, he goes to the man, calls with the names, he doesn't look. Then he shakes him. Then he wakes up. What happened was, while asleep, the knowing Jivatma, Kshetragna, Vijnanatma, they have all become Brahman. They have all merged in Brahman. They have not kept their ID, their job. So at that time, if you call with any of these names, they do not know. They are all Brahman. Brahman has no name. And Brahman doesn't respond to your calls. Right? Because you are talking in the language of duality. Brahman is beyond duality. Right? So he didn't respond. So when he's shaken up, all these faculties have come 
out from Brahman, but yet in touch with Brahman. Come out from Brahman, yet in, because without in touch you cannot know. They have all come out. Yetova, Yamani, Bhutani, Jayante, from which everything arises. Yena Jatani, Jivanti, where everything stays. Yet Prayat Yabhivchanti, into him everything merges. That is the definition of Brahman. So, first step he shows that everything comes from him, the Brahman. Everything comes from him. And when not connected with him, they have become. Brahman himself, the duality doesn't work. You must ask a question. Have all the ego, the senses, have become Brahman? How can they become Brahman? Two, three questions. You won't get this opportunity anywhere to do this manana. So don't miss this. Two, three questions. Have all, have all they have become Brahman? How can the ego, senses, all become Brahman? And if they become, how can they again come back? Because they, once you become Brahman, you don't come back. Right? How? You know Pralaya? When Pralaya happens, all names and forms merge in Mola Prakriti. Mola Prakriti itself merges with Brahman. Everything merges there. There is no distinction. Undifferentiated state. Undifferentiated state. But Narayana knows everything. So we all merge according to their vasanas. He pushes them out. According to their vasanas, he pushes them out. You are tired of day's work. You merge in Brahman to be refreshed. He takes you completely, absorbs you as Brahman. But your vasanas are still there. So after the rest, he pushes you out. He pushes you out because he knows. Right? So that is how cognition took place. The one who cognizes is called Kshetragna, is called Vijnana Atma, is, not, is called Jiva, Charapurusha, all these. Right? So now the story goes. Ajata Shatru himself asks this Gargya, where were they when he is asleep? Where were all these when I was asleep? He gives the answer, they have all merged in Brahman itself. They have all merged in Brahman. How will they come back? He says, there are these nadis, through them, they come back. These nadis are all imaginary faculties. That is, we, you and I cannot understand with some sort of a logic. Brahman doesn't need nadis. But he may operate through your nadis. Because brain and all that, they also respond to signs. You know, connections. Right? But Brahman doesn't depend upon your signs or nadis and all that. Up to your stage, he allows you to arrogate, do your ship and enjoy your ship. He allows you. But really speaking, he doesn't need any of the system's logics. He is above logic. He wants to throw out, he will throw out. He wants to take in, he will take in. Why does he need any conduits? But in the relative world, he made it like that also. In the relative world, he made it like that also. So through them, they come out. And in the dream, this is the sleeping state. In the dream, the same jiva, the same jiva goes out, he becomes a king. He was a beggar in real life. In dream, he became a king. He roams out everywhere. He imagined he was without 
any opposition chosen by both Republicans and Democrats as the president of America. He imagines. Right? And does everything and comes back. Why this dream happens? It is the compassion of God. You and I have billions of vasanas and tendencies in us. To exhaust all of them through waking is impossible because in every waking, again you are gathering a lot. So he, out of compassion, flushes you out of many things in dream. Flushes out many of these vasanas, tendencies through dream. So he exhausts all of them, comes back. Now, another question here he asks. Question is also asked, the answer is, why didn't he explain to him Brahman from a waking man? Because waking also is easy. Because I can tell you, the dead body doesn't speak. I am speaking. So you know who is speaking. There is a life behind it. A dead body cannot hear. You are hearing. Who is hearing? Right? So therefore, you can at least vaguely feel something other than the body, other than the ear, other than the eye, in me, vaguely feel at least. So waking also I can explain. Why did he take him to a sleeping man? Because in waking, it's all mixed up. It's all mixed up. Clearly, you cannot show the consciousness. It's mixed up. Satyan Rutam Mithuni Krutya. Brahma Sutra, Satya, real, Anrutam, falsehood, Midhini Kritya, mixed up is the waking word. Right? That's the waking word. In sleep, pure consciousness. Therefore, he took, took him there to explain to him this Brahman into which everything merged, from which everything arose, in which everything stays. Taitriya. Yatova, Yamani, Bhutan, Jayanti, Yena Jata, and Jivanti, Yet Prayant, Yabhivishanti, Tad Brahma. What is Brahman? Your own consciousness. Your world starts the moment you get up. The world started from your consciousness. And while you are transacting, they stay in your consciousness. While you go to sleep, they march back into you. You are Brahma, you are Vishnu, you are Ishwara. It's your choice. You can choose to be a Jeeva. You can choose to be Ishwara. You can choose to be Hiranagarbha. You can choose to be Virat. You can choose to be Brahman. It's your choice. Is it so? It is so easy. It's not possible because you do not want to leave any of your fine, finite attachments without leaving this. You want that. It's not possible. No one can be in two dimensions at a time. You cannot be waking also, sleeping also. Some people may. You cannot be waking also, dreaming also. You cannot have these three dimensions and be in Brahman. It's not possible. It's not possible. Okay. So, the Gnana. For other things you wanted, you have to do Ashwamedha Yaga, he said that, then Agni Brahmana, then Pranopasana, all do what? So much of Halagulla, but what? Finite. Here, Jnana, what? Knowledge. Apraptasya praptam aparam. Inferior is to gain what you don't have through effort. Praptasya praptam, what you already have, natavyam, you have to only know, not praptavyam, because you already are that. This is para. Remember these words, apara, para, aprapta, prapta, effort, nana. Effort and nana. Finite, infinite. Finite, infinite. 
infinite is got merely through knowledge finite you have to struggle finite you have to struggle ah. And then how does this move from one state of consciousness into another state, waking to dream, dream to deep sleep, how this individual moves? A example, Sa yatha urnanavihi tantuna vuchare yatha agmehe chudraha dispulingaha vicharanti yevam yevam yeva asmad atmanaha sarve pranaha sarve lokaha Sarve Devaha Sarvani Bhutani Vicharanti Tasya Upanishad Satyasya Satyam Hi Prano Vai Satyam Tesham Esha Satyam I will now read the English Sanskrit I only read to show of myself. Right? Just to say that I know Sanskrit. But English is going to be useful. Right? As a spider moves along the thread it produces, and as from a fire, tiny sparks fly in all directions. So from this cell emanate all organs, all worlds, all gods, and all beings. From this self they emanate everything, including your God. The secret name of this Upanishad, this Upanishad is Self. Self is called Upanishad, Consciousness. Its name is what? Satyasya Satyam, truth of truth. What is truth? What is truth of truth? Vital force is truth. Prana is truth. Yeshaha, this Brahman, is Satyasya Satyam. Satyasya Satyam. So that is the two one. Two two. Another Upasana, like Ashwamedha, here, cough. Here, cough, the same Prana Upasana. It's not very important. We leave it. And now he takes another method to explain to us this non-dual Brahman. That is called Murta Amurta. Murta with a form. Amurta without a form. Brahman has two forms. Murtam and Amurtam. Space has two forms. Murtam and Amurtam. Conditioned by walls, it becomes Murtam. When all walls are gone, Amurtam. Right? Everything in this world has two dimensions. Murtam and Amurtam. When there are two things, Murtam and Amurtam, please see, it's beautiful, you know, the study of the scriptures. Nothing is more interesting than them. Your novels, Mills, Mills and Boons and all that paled into insignificance. So beautifully they express. This murtam and amurtam, when there are two things, and especially interconnected, serving the same cause, two different things, serving the same cause, should have a, that third entity whom they are serving, on whom this change is happening, on whom this change is. So, Murtam Amurtam it takes not to make us scholars, this is Murtam, that is Amurtam. Many of us break our heads on insignificant things. Pranamaya Kosha is it in Annamaya Kosha, grass or subtle body. Lot of discussion. It is both. So some people put it here, some people put it there, nothing wrong. Right? We break our heads. They are explaining Pranamaya Kosha, Annamaya Kosha and all that. Not for you to become erudite in that. For you to know they are all finite, collect them all, put it into the waste paper. That's it. That is why they are explaining. You are fighting there. Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manamaya. So this Murtam Amurtam are also not for us to become erudite, only to make us know Brahman has these two forms. 
But this particular thing, Sri Shankaracharya takes it beautifully and humorously explains in Prabodha Sudhakara. Prabodha Sudhakara is all championing Krishna. Our Advaita Acharya, Sri Shankaracharya, says Krishna is nothing but that non dual Brahman. Krishna is nothing but non dual Brahman. He says, your Upanishad, he quotes this. Your Upanishad itself says, God has two forms, Murtam and Amurtam. And he says, Amurtam is difficult, Murtam is easy. Shankara Advaita Guru says, Murtam is easy and pleasant. Let those people struggle with Amurtam, let them struggle, he says. In Prabodha Sudhakara, the Advaita Acharya says, this is easy and pleasant. If they want to struggle, let them struggle. Same thing in Gita also it says, Preshodhikitaras Tesham Abhyakta Sakta Chaitatram Abhyakta He Gatir Dukkam Dehavadpihi Avapiti it's difficult for a man who is in the body, identified with the body, to try to contemplate on formless Nirguna Brahman. It's very difficult. Our uh, Tapon Raj has a lot of humor. He says, the Lord who can do anything, doesn't he have the power to come also with a form? Why do you doubt? The Lord who can do anything, can't he come with a form? Why do you doubt? Like, and all these forms are all his forms. Where do you search God? Wherever there are forms, God must be there. Where God is there, forms need not be there. Where God is there, Forms need not be there. Where there are forms, God has to be there. This is called Anvaya Vetireka Nyaya. Right? Waking is not there. Consciousness is there. Dream is not there. Consciousness is there. Sleep is not there. Consciousness is, not, is there. When they are not there, consciousness is there. Where consciousness is there, they need not be there. This is called Anvaya Vitireka, Trikala Abhadita Vastu. What is there under all conditions is the real Satyam. Right? Huh. So that is Murtam and Amurtam. And then comes the favorite topic of the Brudar and Upanishad, where every person emphasizes on that. It's called Maitriya Brahmana. Maitriya Brahmana, where Brahman is clearly explained. I just start it. I may go two, three minutes extra. I will do it next week, but I let me begin. We said, Atma Eva Upasitavyam. You should only do Upasana to Atma. Why? Because if you know Atma, you know everything. If you could get Atman, you get everything. And that also he says in one four that your Atma is dearer than the wife, husband, everything. And now it clearly goes on explaining in Maitreya Brahma. I'll just give the story and the gist. 
Next week I will do it elaborately. The story is Yagna Valkya had two wives. One of the characteristics, if somebody has to be a big man, VIP or God in our Puranas, he, ha he should have more than one wife. Yagna Valkya had two wives, Katyayani and Maitri. Yagna Valkya says, N of his Yana, I had lived with all of you. Now I divide my property between both. Because in those days, Brahmanas were the richest. Because Brahmanas, they used to give, you know, villages after villages. It's not piecemeal. Districts after districts, they were the richest. Even today, Palgat, you go, he's sitting there. Right? They are the richest people. So he had called two wives and he said, I am dividing the property between you and I am going to one of his staff. Katya and he said, Thank you, good riddance. Thank you, good riddance. Maitre is there. Can I get immortality through what you give me? He said, With Vittena Asha Na Asha Asti Amrutasya. I will give the correct words next week. Amrutasya Na Asha Asti Vittena. There is no hope of immortality through Vitta. Then she says, With what doesn't give me immortality? That useless thing you want to dump on me and go? You know that? You give me that and go. You know that secret of immortality, that vidya of immortality. Give me that and go. You want to throw all your gar garbage on us and go? He asked. He said, that's why you are dear to me. And sits and starts explaining to her. Says the truth. Na jaya e kamaya jaya priyam bhavati. Atmanastu kamaya jaya priyam bhavati. Na patyuk kamaya patihi priyam bhavati. Atmanastu kamaya patik priyam bhavati. Not for the sake of wife, her wife is dear. She is dear to you because you are dear to yourself. Husband is not dear because of the husband. He is dear because you love yourself. Uh, the surface meaning is they give happiness, therefore you love. No, that's highly superficial meaning. The real meaning is you alone are there in them. The same Atma is in them. Because your Atma alone is in them, you love. Which portion of my body I love, which portion of my body I don't love. I am there in my nail, I am there in my hair, I am there in my feet, I am there in my chest. So I love every portion of my body because I am there. So also, this self, this me is alone there in the wife and the husband because of me being there, I love them. This is the real meaning. But superficially when you explain, we just say, because they give you happiness. That's a very superficial meaning. We will see of that next week. Thank you. O Purnamada Purnamadam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Pyonam Hari Om Shri Chinmaya Sadguravet